Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot in the Pagan Perspective. This week we're talking about techno-pagans. But first, I do want to comment on the comments made from last week's videos. I have read uh, a lot of the comments up until about Wednesday. Uh, I got kind of, uh, you know, busy between, you know, Thursday and the rest of the week and into this week. So I have not gotten to watch you know, from Thursday on. So, last week's videos, what, they were quite controversial to many of the people in the pagan community, and there were a lot of comments thrown around that were actually kind of surprising and shocking to myself and to a few others, mostly because many of the pagans nowadays especially nowadays, say, if it feels right, do it. But they are not so accepting whenever it comes to Christo-Pagans, Christian witches, Christian Wiccans, stuff like that. So, I, I don't know why they're not as accepting. You know, is it the word Christian that really gets your, your panties in a bunch? I don't know. But, uh, you know, this is our path, and for you to go around bashing it is like me bashing, you know, if you're Wiccan or in the Norse tradition or something like that, to go around and, you know, bash your tradition. It's really uh, quite shocking, to be honest, to hear some of the comments that came out of people's, you know, typings. So, I did want to put that out there that I can't believe what I saw last week. But on to this week's topic is about techno-pagans and how the rituals differ from techno-pagans to classic rituals. I have kind of been involved in both. I guess you would consider me a techno-coven member in the past. I have since not been a techno-pagan or techno-coven member because of inactivity on spellsmagic.com, you know, we had a great coven going there for a while, and then people's lives started to interfere with, you know, their participation in the coven. Completely understandable. I was one of those ones that was kicked off the coven because of inactivity. So, do, do I regret being off of the coven? Kind of, yes, I really do, because it was fun, it was a lot of people that had like-minded uh, views, and we would bounce ideas off of one another. It was awesome. Also, once a, once a week, and granted, I was working night shift, so I didn't have the time to, to always be in these rituals, but we would do a ritual about once a week. I was involved in one ritual, and for the most part, it was meditative rituals. So, I, I don't know if you really would consider that a full-blown ritual. But I was involved in one of these meditation rituals. And what it essentially was, was us on an instant message on SpellsMagic.com's uh, website. We would be on like an instant message forum and we'd have one person that would be posting and posting and posting, you know, this is what you do next, this is what you do next, stuff like that. And people would comment and stuff like that on, you know, how great it was for them and stuff like that. Overall, a very nice experience. I really, really enjoyed it. However, doing an instant message while trying to be in a meditative state, for me, was not exactly the, the easiest situation. For me, it would have been a lot easier to to use something like Skype where you can have like a conference call set up or something like that. It would have been a lot easier to do something of that nature. So if you are involved in a techno coven, I would suge suggest doing that. Now I have also been in a semi ritual of a classic nature. I was not involved in an actual coven. I believe it was at a UU church that my uh, one of my friends that owned the local witchy shop in Kansas that she suggested I go to, and she was going as well. 
and we went, you know, we basically said who we were, you know, we all stood in a circle, said who we were, uh, welcomed everybody's ancestors in and, and all that, and basically had a, had a nice little dinner and all that, and then went home. We had a lot of fun, it was a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of getting together, you know, between people. Would I attend something like that again? Probably not. It was, I, I, I only knew like three or four people there, so it was kind of, you know, odd for me. I'm not that big of a social butterfly where I'll go over to everybody and just start talking. Not always my scene. Sometimes it is. But in that instance, it wasn't. So, would I go back again for something like that? Probably not. I'd want a little bit more intimate of a group. So, overall, techno rituals, you know, they're good if you're... I'm sorry. They're, they're good in the sense of, yes, okay, uh, I'm sorry, Kara, you just text me and I, I'm getting all frazzled now. They're good in the sense that, yes you can do a ritual with people halfway across the uh, the world and all be on the same page as to what you're doing. However, use something like Skype because it's so hard to do a meditative ritual and watch the screen all at the same time. Now, a group ritual, like I said, limited experience. Overall, I'd say a good experience. But would I do it again? Um, probably not, unless it was a smaller group and a more tight-knit group. So that's my video for this week. Uh, I hope I brought a little something to the, to the group or to the table or whatever you want to call it. Until next week, may you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. Bye-bye.